My name is Chris Santa Maria, and I'm the director of Gemini GEL at Joni Wild Gallery in New York, where we exclusively represent the publications of Gemini GEL Workshop, which is based in Los Angeles. We're here at Heather Gaudio Fine Art, and we're surrounded by all of these beautiful Richard Serra prints and editions that Gemini has published over the years. Um, nice. There's just a nice wide range of works on view that uh, utilize different kinds of textures, different printmaking processes, um, different ideas that can sometimes relate to Richard Serra's sculpture but also can be independently important uh, through the medium of printmaking or edition making. On this side of the gallery, you've got a series called Composites, which are essentially a composite of two different printmaking processes. There's an aquatint etching as a background, and then there's a paint stick material that's pushed through a silk screen stencil to create this kind of uh, pattern that's on top of it and the heavy, heavy texture. They look like they're very messy and that each one would look different from impression to impression, but they're actually extremely um, uh, precise, that every single impression is exactly the same. Those incorporate two sheets of paper where the paint stick material is mixed with silica, which is basically a sand, um, and rolled on by hand. So different kinds of textures in between all of the different works that Richard Serra has done. Casablancas are really, really, really heavily textured, and they're additions, so you've got 24 of those that look exactly the same. Um, they have some of these kind of curves, which are fine relation into uh, his sculpture that you sometimes can walk around in the, the large steel sculptures that have these kinds of torqued ellipses and, and these curvatures. From the works on paper, you're dealing with a delicate uh, Japanese kozo, which is derived from the mulberry trees. You're dealing with a kind of deckled edge, so the paper is literally torn off after the work is made. Gemini GEL has a long tradition where the artist comes out, they work directly onto the copper plates or the stones or the screens, or in Sarah's case, coming appearance of, of corroded steel that would kind of relate to some of the old steel sculptures that he's done. And so at Gemini GEL, we have all of these great master printers that are extremely uh, experienced and sophisticated when it comes to the medium of printmaking. And so the artist is better at making art than we are, but the printmakers are better at making prints than the artist. So you collaborate and you come up with something that you normally wouldn't be able to do when the artist is just by themselves in their studio.